If automobiles have been Detroit's lifeblood, then music has always been the city's soul. From the jazz era, the big bands, the Motown years, now it's the sound of gospel that's putting the music of the Motor City back on the map. God has blessed Detroit with some of the best in gospel music. And Detroit has always had some of the great preachers and some of the great churches in this, in this city. And uh, it just could not help but produce uh, people who would excel in the, in the outgrowth of the ministries uh, from the church. The gospel music explosion is keeping a host of local recording studios busy these days. In turn, the records and the tapes produced here are among the country's biggest sellers. Detroit got, I think we counted one time, we were looking at Billboard magazine, the top 20 chart, and Detroit had something like eight artists right from the city of Detroit that was in the top 20. Now, if you know where to find it, gospel music is in the airwaves. You come on in where you can get it together. I mean, everything is in with the Lord. For 30 years now, Martha Jean the Queen has been the voice of gospel music in Detroit. Detroit, you know, being this melting pot, the factory, the sounds, the heat and all, it translates itself into the sound of being up. And we're not moaning like the South, but we are joyous in the North. Eric Smith, Channel 7 Action News, reporting.